DeWalt's new compact bandsaw is finally here with an inch and three quarters worth of cut capacity. We're gonna go through this guy top to bottom. Let's get to some cutting. Stay tuned. The DeWalt Atomic Compact inch and three quarter inch bandsaw comes as a kit with a 4.01P battery at a price of $299. It also comes with a blade and a standard charger with a bag. You can also get this bear tool for $199. The model number of what we're going over is the kit. It's DCS377Q1. Now the blade on this is half inch by 27 to 27 and a quarter. So that's gonna give you some different blade sizes out there that are fairly common. You're gonna get 150 to 380 surface feet per minute with the variable speed trigger and the dial that is on the side. We're gonna go over that in a little bit. You have a rectangular capacity of an inch and three quarters. Now that also is gonna mean you're gonna have a round capacity of about that, but you can sneak in a little bit more if you're willing to work at it a little bit. This thing weighs at about seven pounds. So it's not heavy, it can move it over your head. You can run it with one hand, very easy to use does have blade tracking on it, and as you can see here, it cuts very well. In taking a closer look at the saw, we do have the ability to add DeWalt's tool tracking to this. Simply pull out two little bolts here, slide in your tool tracking, and you're set and ready to go. This is the four amp hour 1P battery that comes with the kit. Very nice, compact, yet powerful battery. This tool does not take a lot of battery power. When you pull the trigger, there is a safety up here, and you do get an LED light that lights up the area quite well. Very nice when cutting. Inside your tension lever is a tool that you can use for multiple different things around the tool, but you can also adjust your blade tracking here. It does have a jam nut, but you can put this in here and make minor adjustments if you wanted to with the jam nut in place, but as always, remove the jam nut, make your adjustments, tighten this guy back up. Other than that, this is a fairly basic DeWalt bandsaw. You do have a rafter hook, which is nice. You can put this in multiple different places. This guy opens up with two metal clasps. Open here, simply from the inside. Everything is clean in here, and that's what's nice. I like the fact that you can open this up. We've done a lot of cutting with this. Nothing is collecting in here. If we want to remove the blade, pull our tensioner back pull this guy up and it comes directly out. Putting the blade in is just as simple. Come in here, slide this guy across, put our tensioner knob back. We're gonna give it a go. Everything is tracking right. We want just a little bit of tension on those bearings in the back for guides. Everything is riding on the rubber. Life is good here. If we look at the speed in here, you're gonna see the weld. We are on full speed at this point. You can see I can adjust the speed here. See that blip going through? That's one time going around. On level one, that is as fast as we can go. What I like about this is not only just the speed control on the trigger, but also this dial. It's very controllable and easy to control while you're actually cutting. This dial has more positions than just five. It clicks, you may can hear it. So we can click this guy all the way down to one. It gives us almost an infinite amount of adjustment. Although we don't need that much adjustment, it does give us whatever we'd like to see. I really like the way this DeWalt grip is, of course, I'm a DeWalt grip fan, so to me that really works out. Feels like every other DeWalt tool that's out there. This is very balanced and comfortable in your hands. To me, this is a very nice and comfortable small bandsaw. This size bandsaw is gonna work out well for electricians, HVAC guys. A lot of different trades are gonna be able to jump in and use this size bandsaw. But let's talk a little bit about uh, the elephant that's in the room. The DeWalt Atomic name, when they brought it out, they were talking about very powerful tools, but 
in a compact size. And in some cases, those tools weren't as powerful as a lot of guys expected. But with a bandsaw like this, we're really looking at the speed of cut in at 380 surface feet per minute. We're really cooking along and can make some pretty decent cuts at a good speed. For the size of this bandsaw, it is much faster than a lot of its competition that's out there. And that makes it, to me, work really nice. And I was able to sneak in some cuts on some two inch angle iron. You can see this isn't exactly the smallest piece here. So you just gotta be a little bit more intuitive as to how you go through it, but you can use this for larger pieces if need be. We also did some max cuts and some round tubing. Fits in here, no issue, but again, not small or it's pretty thick tubing. So we're making some decent cuts here and this guy just rolled right through it. So as far as my use and for what I can see from using a lot of these in different brands, especially seeing how they came out in the beginning, when I go back and use the initial Milwaukee M12 compact bandsaw, you almost yawn at this point because the blade's going so slow. And what they have out now, these blades are really cooking through there. You can get a lot of different blade types for this, and you can really use this to get through some work quickly without heating up any metal and getting a fairly clean cut without a lot of mess. So for the guys who are out here using this, or if you're in the DeWalt line and you're afraid of that atomic name, in this case with this bandsaw, don't be. It's gonna allow you almost everything that you could want in a compact bandsaw. And in fact, I can't think of anything really here that I would change except to maybe add a little reaming tool on the end of the drive wheel here. That would be nice so you could ream out whatever you cut if you're using it for electrical. Other than that, this thing has everything that you'd want, especially since you can adjust your blade tracking, which many of these come out now and you can't. You do have a metal frame that's around this guy. So it is very sturdy. A lot of these small ones are made of plastic frames. We could take them and push in on them and they would flex a little bit. You're not gonna flex this metal frame that's in here. It's not heavy, great power, good speed. Definitely something I'd look at. Price-wise, I think you're up there at the MSRP of $199 for a bare tool and $299 for the kit. Uh, but I'm gonna assume there's gonna be some sales out there. I'll look around and try to leave those in the description. Guys, I like it. Hope you do too. Leave me some comments below. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.